Eve. Exciting times, guys. This means that we can do all the things we need to do in 15 minutes. So with that being said, normally, as Steve mentioned, we prepare ourselves, our cycles, our brains for a 50-minute haul. Adjust that, right? So the level of effort that I want you to give, and I'll tell you pace, slow, medium, fast, and the difficulty of your cycle, I want you to give it that level of effort knowing you only have 15 minutes to work, okay? So let's come on up. And so think about our cycles, right? So we have eight 30 seconds rounds. So we're gonna break this into three different portions of a workout. There's the first eight rounds, which is the warm up, the second, which is the meat of the workout, and the third, which is kind of like the warm down or the cool down. So the beginning part, the first eight cycles, are gonna seem easy, but it will get drastically harder as we continue. And again, we love feedback. So let us know what you think once we're done. So our first three things we're gonna do for our warm up are a tricep stretch, a bicep stretch, and opening and closing the hands. But we're going to do it in such a way, specifically the last one, that really starts to get the muscles going. So first 30 seconds, tricep stretch. Start to bring your right arm across the body. And we're just going to hold it. Mm -hmm. Good. Starting to feel those cycles working. Bands are on super tight. You don't want more than one finger's worth of space between your band and your arm. So if you need to tighten, go ahead. Isn't this a much easier cycle than we normally do? This is great. All right. Go ahead and release it. Second set. Tricep stretch. Other side. And you can continue to pull the shoulder back as you draw the arm in towards the midline of the body. Another second. Round. We've got 30 seconds here. And then after this, we'll do our bicep stretch, which is actually my favorite upper body stretch, not only for the biceps, but also for the chest. All right, go ahead and release it. Next cycle, bicep stretch, 30 seconds, pulling the arms away from the body. As you draw the shoulders back, making sure we're not doing this, we're not doing this, spine is straight, and you're getting as much leverage as you can. Awesome. Good. If you can lengthen out the arms even more, pulling them off the back, go for it. You got about five more seconds here. And release it. Second round, bicep stretch, 30 seconds again. Everyone's like, oh man, what's coming? This is too good to be true. Good. Keep stretching it out, really get into it. Pull the shoulders back, open up the biceps, the chest. If your cycle starts, start it up again. Last 10 seconds. And, and release it. Now, adjusting our effort level accordingly, we're doing four rounds of opening the hands and closing. First round, slow. Second round, moderate. And the last two rounds, fast. So find that cycle that will make, or that level of difficulty that will make doing this really hard. And so the whole point of these quick 15 minute workouts is that we want to have our settings and our effort level be appropriate that our body's really working in that time. I'm gonna reset mine. All right, so first 30 seconds, opening and closing the hands. Three, two, one. We're going slow, out and in. And as we work through these sets, the ones where we're actually doing strengthening work, you should only be able to do about two sets without being completely fried, maybe just one. Good, really slowly. And the brilliant thing here is that the bands are doing a lot of the work for us. 
Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds. Our second set, we're still not going fast, moderate pace. We're going again. Three, two, one. Opening and closing the hands. Now you should be starting to see veins. Things are popping up. We're feeling the muscles. And Steve revealed to me that he can tell how hard we're working based on the color of our arms. So if you're noticing your arms are starting to turn a little bit darker in color, that's actually a good thing. We want that. Good. Last 10. And five, four, three, two, rest. Now, next two sets, we're going all out fast as we can in three, two, one. 30 seconds, go for it. Woo, there we go. Yes. Now your cycle should be high enough that already this should be starting to get hard. Mm-hmm, good. All out, half done. Nice. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds, and we're doing our second set. That's our warm up. And then we're going to get to the meat of our workout, which is specifically today for the triceps and the biceps. Last 30 seconds, let's do it. All out, fast as you can. Woo, good. I don't know about you, my forearms are feeling it. My hands are starting to feel really heavy. Yeah, there we go. Half done. Keep it up, keep it up. Fast, 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 go, go, go. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next up tricep extensions and bicep curls. We're doing four rounds of each. These should be very, very slow. Keep in mind, four rounds is a lot. If you completely fatigue yourself after one or two rounds, great. That means you don't have to do the rest. The goal is not to power through. It's to put in the effort to fatigue the muscle to build that strength, okay? So first 30 seconds, we're doing tricep extensions. I like to take a little bend in my knees, find the softness in the front of the body. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Nice and slow, fully extending the fingertips back behind you as you extend. Good. Maybe working even more slowly. Yes, that's it. Whew, there we go. Good. Keep going. Last 10. Maybe even slower. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. All right. And you know what to do here. Maybe you want to make it a shorter range of motion, and maybe you want to make it an even slower movement. Work to fatigue. We're going again in three, two, one. Fully extend out and in. Extend and in, maybe slower. Out, two, in, two. Out, two, in, two. Awesome. Arms should be starting to get really tired. If they're not, slow it down. Last 10. Good, fast, four, three, two, and rest. We have two more sets. Move the arms around if you need to or you want to. All right, third set. Maybe start with the arms extended out this time. Let's go. In, two, out, two. In, two, out, two. Keep it up. Nice. And as you're doing this, I'm noticing a little bit of rounding in the spine. See if you can keep your spine straight. We don't want to be slouching. Awesome. Last 10. Slow it down. Slow it down. 
and rest. We have one more set. Arms should be tired. All right. I'm going to jump in again. here. Just, just a moment. Yes. On this last one, if you can contract the muscle, both when you push back and when you come forward. So make sure your muscle is under tension throughout the entire exercise. So just don't breathe. Yes, exactly what Laurel's doing. All right, go ahead. Sorry, go. Go ahead, Laurel. No, thank you. So kind of like when we imagine that we're holding like 50 pound weights, you wouldn't want to let those weights just fall. So you resist out. And then I actually like imagining that I'm holding like two rubber bands. I'm pulling those rubber bands in, okay? Last 30 seconds, three, two, one. Extending out, pulling the thickest rubber bands you can think of in. Out, grab those rubber bands, pull them in. Yeah. Good. Concentric and eccentric movements. Working the muscle in both directions. Awesome. Half done. Last 10. Ooh. We have seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and rest. All right. In 10 seconds, we're going to go right into our bicep curls. Same thing. Not only resisting in, but also squeezing the muscle resisting down. And try to do it without letting the arms lock out. First 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Up. Two, three. Down. Two, three three, up, two, three, down, two, three. That's it. Mm -hmm. Good. Last 10. Burn those muscles out. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, that's set number one. We have three more. My arms are feeling kind of tingly and alive. All right, second set. Here we go. Up, two, three, down, two, three. So we're holding a billion pound weights. What would that look like? Good. Creating the resistance in our body to be working the muscle in both directions. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Last 10. And you can look down and see your biceps and see your veins. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. If you want to take your 10 seconds and do your cap refill check, you can. We're going again. In three, two, one. Here we go. Up, two, three, down, two, three. If you want to take the pace even slower, do it. Yeah. And I see all kinds of veins and things popping out. I know that my capillaries are being engorged. Mm-hmm. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. We have two more sets. All right. Grab those imaginary weights again. We're going in three, two, one. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Keep going. Ooh, I like this form. It's hard to have bad form, but it's not impossible. You can slouch, you can do whatever. Keep growing taller, keeping those elbows glued in. Looks great. Nice bunny. Good. Awesome. Last five, four, three, 
two, racks. We have one more set. This one should be, you are moving at a snail's pace. Those muscles are contracting so much that you can barely even get your arms into your body, okay? Here we go, last 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's do it. Ooh. Pulling in, pulling down. Without letting the elbows lock out. And I'm squeezing my fists. I'm squeezing my forearms. I'm squeezing every muscle surrounding the biceps as well. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So that was the meat of our workout. Now to cool it down or warm it down, we're going to do our tricep extensions and our bicep curls again, but this time we're going to go really fast just to kind of get the blood pumping throughout the muscles and uh, break up any lactic acid that might be building. Okay. So we're doing two cycles of tricep extensions fast, two cycles of bicep curls fast, and then we're going to do some shoulder circles and that's our upper body. Okay. First 30 seconds, tricep extensions. You're flying. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Awesome. Keep it up. Good. Woo. Move through it. Yeah. <laughs> Half done. Keep it up. Get those muscles moving now. Oh, I love it. It was like flying and going. It's great. Last six. Five. Three, two, and rest. We have one more round of that. It's like we were just waiting to move fast. Everyone jumped right on in. All right, we're going again. Four, three, two, let's go. Try the big sentence, pump them fast. And just because we're moving fast doesn't mean that we want to like get all crazy with our body. Still focusing on the triceps. Woo, that's it. Pump those arms, maybe even extending the fingertips still. Why not? Yeah, have to. Whew. Awesome. Last 10. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same rule applies for bicep curls. Just because we're going fast doesn't mean we want to get all wobbly and crazy. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yes. And even though I'm getting one fast, my arms still feel it. They're still working, doing this. Nice, half done. Set number one of two. Last 10. Up and up, here we go. Yes. Five, four, three, two, rest. Next set, and then we're coming down onto hands and knees. In three, two, one, here we go. Pump it. Muscles should be feeling nice and tired. Good. We're working, we're working. This is it for the upper body. Last 10. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and rest. My arms feel like wet. Final two cycles. We're coming down onto hands and knees. 30 seconds, just circling out the left arm, 30 seconds circling out the right arm, and then we're swapping out our band. Good, left arm, three, two, one. And for these, take them nice and slow, making a big old circle, looking at increasing your range of motion with each movement. Getting a nice stretch across the arms, the shoulders, the chest. And doing our best to keep both shoulders squared off to the floor. Last 10. We're going slow on these. We have five, four, three, two, and switch. Right arm. Keep moving through it. Good. Keep going. Nice, Kayleen. 
Last six. Five. Great job. Four. Three. Two. And one. Everyone come on up. Swap out your bands. The question of the day is feedback. What did we think about 15 minute upper body exercise? Uh, and feel free to unmute yourself or toss your feedback in chat. I'm going to mute myself and let you run point for this part. Yeah. Anybody, um, did you feel fatigued? Did you not feel fatigued? Um, did you feel any difference between when Laurel was doing a slow pace versus a fast pace? Any feedback is appreciated. You could just blurt it out. Steve, I thought it was way more intense, it, although it didn't seem like we were doing that much different, but it, the impact to me was more intensity and I could feel my bands more. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I Quint agree with that. Go ahead, Quentin. Uh, I just, I agree with what Diane said. Yeah, I, I actually, Quentin, I saw you stopping a few times <laughs> and like walk around like you were in muscular fatigue. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeff, you were using, it, it looked like resistance bands on the um, biceps. How, what did you feel? It doesn't have to be positive. I mean, I just want some frank, frank feedback. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, I had resistance bands and then I was in training mode uh, and it was, it was really tough. I mean, without that much time to recover, um, it's, it's pretty difficult. Yeah, okay. So if, if uh, I had the opportunity to prick your earlobe and uh, check your uh, lactate levels, they'd be pretty high right now. And so this is the difference between training with katsu bands versus katsu training. So we wanted to get you to that fatigue level in a brief period of time. Um, is that Kayleen or Kayleen, Kayleen's sister? And Steve, oh. is, that, is that the objective every time you work out is to get that point is that uh well it, it's only if if you're working to develop let's say muscle tone or strength let's say we were working on mobility agility um some technique we wouldn't necessarily have to go to that muscular fatigue level go ahead oh um i definitely thought that i felt the bands more too and like when laura was saying like um, your hands are going to feel heavy. Like it felt a lot more like there was more resistance to the bands. Yeah. Thank you, George. Uh, this is probably one of the first times uh, that I've felt the heat response uh, in these workouts. I mean, I, I feel that commonly when I do my own workouts, uh, which is more of a Sato style workout, uh, uh, similar to this, but uh, usually using an X bar three um, or X three bar. Um, and, and doing everything, you know, four sets to failure. Uh, I feel that, and, and, and this is the first time I've really felt it uh, in one of our workouts here. Okay. Thank you. Bonnie, uh, Bonnie, I have to admit, your tricep extension speed was out of this world. <laughs> you can really move your arms fast. <laughs> I saw that too. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I was, uh, we can't hear you. Uh, I, can anybody, can everybody hear her? No. Um, let's see. You're not muted. It shows a phone symbol instead of a microphone. Oh, I think she's typing. Okay, Adrian said, I'd love it. And looks like Bonnie's typing something. Steve, I love it. I was doing in the past uh, using weights. So I was using 25% of my normal weight with uh -huh. Katsu. And that worked very well for me. So I love this type of, uh, you know, intensity. So it was very helpful. Okay. Were you using any weights this time? 
No, no. no. And I was okay. wondering, in fact, when, when Lauren said, hey, imagine it's a, you have a band. Well, I was wondering, okay, should I take a band? Maybe probably it's going to be more efficient, you know? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And Bonnie said, you got fatigue that I can't get in regular workout. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. All right, anybody else? Um, if not, go ahead, Laurel. Go ahead with your second 15-minute uh, leg workout, lower body workout. All right. Thank you, everyone, for the feedback. Really appreciate it. Um, Steve, I also saw Bonnie said that she did triceps yesterday with weights and no katsu, and this was actually more intense. Yeah. Um, so I really appreciate everyone's feedback. I think more is not always more. And we're learning that, you know, by really focusing on areas today, we did biceps, triceps, we can get greater benefits with less time. Yay. All right. Let's do some lower body stuff. So we're going to do it similar format. We have our warm up, the meat of our workout, and then our warm down. So our warm up is going to be two cycles of good mornings to stretch two cycles of walking in place, and then four cycles of hamstring curls. Okay, I saw one more. Would love to do lower and upper back exercises too. Helpful, yeah, if there's things that people wanna look at focusing on, like put it in the chat. This is part of our new, we're, seeing, we're throwing stuff to the wall and seeing what sticks. So any requests, feedback is, is all good. Um, even the bad stuff too, I'd rather, have honest, then keep going with something that people aren't loving. So let's go ahead and get started with our first part of our workout, the warm up. First 30 seconds, hands to opposite shoulder. We're doing good mornings. Three, two, and one. And the focus here doesn't matter on the speed, uh, it's more on keeping the back flat and the legs as straight as you can. cycle going. Good. And this actually, interestingly enough, is a big stretch for the hamstrings, but also does strengthen the lower back some because you have to work the muscles surrounding the spine to keep your spine in extension. So there's more specific stuff we can do. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick rest, and then we'll jump into our second cycle. Good mornings again. Good. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Hinge forward and come on up. And I encourage doing these slowly so that you can get more depth in your stretch. Great. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Next two cycles, we're going to be walking in place. First pace will be slow, and second set, you can go moderate to fast. 30 seconds, here we go, walking in place. No, I got a tube undone. There we go. And I don't know why walking in place for me means high knees. That's just how I like to walk in place. Good. Starting off slow. Half done. And last spot. Four, three, two, and rest. Next 30 seconds, we're gonna walk a little bit faster. And I was already going at a pretty quick gait, so feel free to keep that, or you can go faster if you so choose. Ready? Here we go, 30 seconds. Marching it out. Great. Getting those legs working, feeling the bands, squeezing the legs. Last 10. Then we're gonna go into hamstring curls. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. All right. Four cycles. First 30 left leg, then right leg, then left leg, then right leg. If you want to hold on to a chair or a wall, you can. 30 seconds. First set, slow. Up, down slowly. Curl up slowly, down slowly. If you want more of a challenge, you can try not to let your shin drop below 90 degrees with the knee. Ooh. Great. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the right leg nice and slow. 30 seconds, hamstring curls. Making sure that the rest of the body stays in good form, nice and straight. Great. Good. Use this as an opportunity to really get your heel in towards your butt. And in our next round, we're going to go fast. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Second two cycles, left leg and right leg. We're going fast. 30 seconds, go. Now, just because we're going fast, still making sure we're in good form. My knees stay in line. Whew. Dig it. Wake those hamstrings up. Good. Half done. Last 10. We're going right into the other leg in five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg, hamstring curls fast, 30 seconds. Let's go. Last part of our warm up. If you don't have anything to hang on to, that's fine. Just keep your body as upright as possible. Good. Half done. Kicking it out. Last 10. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Our meat of our exercise, four cycles non-lock quarter squats, and four cycles of lunge knee hovers. It's gonna burn, okay? So, non-lock quarter squats. We're dropping down into the bottom part of our squat. We're coming up only part way. We're working down, only a little bit up, without ever letting the legs fully lock, okay? Now, like we mentioned with the triceps, we want to not only put the effort in as we're pressing up, also think about resisting on the way down. So finding that resistance in the body the whole time. First 30 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. I shift my hips back. A little up, six to 12 inches down. A little up, drop it down. Keep rolling. Mm -hmm. Slow. All of these, just like the main arm exercises, are meant to be done really slow, working on contracting both directions. Great. Looks good. Nice straight spine. Awesome. Four, three, two, rest. Good. 10 seconds, and we're going to come down for our second set, making sure your weight is in your heels. We don't want to be shifting forward. Second set. Here we go. Get low. 30 seconds. Little up, little down, little up, little down. Yes. Good. That's it. Keep rolling. Half done. Feel that burn. Last 10. See if you can drop a little bit lower. Now is your time. Five, four. Brilliant, Adrian. Three two, and rest. Now, if your legs are not fully fatigued by this point, you have the opportunity to probably go a little bit slower, a little bit smaller movements. Third set, here we go. Drop into it. Little up, little down. Little up, 
You know the drill. Keep going. It's a different kind of hard than the stuff we've been doing, and it looks great. So difficult. You're like, I'm doing, what, 30 seconds of squats? What's happening? It's happening. Good. Mm hmm Give me five, four, a little lower, three, two, one. Come on up. Final set. Here we go. Drop into it. Resisting up, resisting down. So you can even think up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three. Keep it up. We're already half done. Maybe you make it even slower. Up, two, three, four. I don't know. Try it. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. We're done with our squats. Let's work into our lunges. Right foot forward, left foot back. All of these, snail pace. Work the resistance. Resisting down, resisting up. Don't let the back leg straighten. Resisting down, resisting up. Ready? First 30. Here we go. Woo, think down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three. Keep going. Half done. Yes. Good. Nice straight spine. Last 10. Then we're going to go right into the other side. Five, four, three, two, and switch, left foot forward, right foot back, bend that back knee, 30 seconds, we are rolling, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, my back leg is already shaking, I hope yours is too, keep it up, if you can't finish the set, that's okay, you're fatiguing your muscle, great, half done, Amazing. <laughs> I, just, I saw someone come out of it and jump back in. I love it. Good. Last seven, six, five. We've got it. Four, three, two, and rest. We have two more cycles. Then we have our warm down. Okay. Right foot forward, left foot back. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, this time, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Amazing. Last 10. Give me four, three, two, and switch. Final set. Give me everything you've got in three, two, one. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Woo! That's it. Yes, without letting the back leg straighten. Amazing. I've done. Last 10. See if you can do one more and only one more round for five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to work out of the work we just worked into, if that makes any sense. Four rounds of mountain climbers. We're going fast. Two rounds of walking in place and two rounds of good mornings. Okay. So we're making our way down into plank position. These ones, we're going all out. We're breaking up that lactic acid. We're getting the heart going. Mountain climbers, fast, 30 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. I want to see you fly. 
Yes, keep it up. Amazing. Go, Diane. Nice. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, rest. Quentin, you're flying. I love it. Okay, we have three more sets. Next set, we're going in four, three, two, go. 30 seconds. Move, move, move. Awesome, Lily. Go, Jeff, go. Cool. Great. You guys are doing so well. Half done. Keep going, don't stop now. Good. Last seven, six, five, all out. Four, three, two, rest. We have two more sets and then we get to walk in place and stretch. So give me everything you've got for one more minute. Third set, three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, be gentle in the back. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Keep it up, keep it up. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, rest. We have one more set. Can we do it? Absolutely. We've got we've done so far. It's 15 minutes of work. All right, last set. Three, two, one. Let's go. Out the climbers. Get those legs moving. Break up that lactic acid. Go, go, go. Half done. Legs might be feeling like lead. That's okay. Keep moving. Give it your best. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hop on up. Yeesh! All right. Two cycles. Walking in place. I'd like to see you walk fast. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. Kind of more of a march than a walk, but I'll take it. Great. Half done. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Even that's getting me going. <laughs> All right. Second cycle. Ready? Let's go. Walk in place. Get up. After this, we get our two rounds of stretching and we are done. All right, last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last exercises of the day are just our stretches. Good morning. Hands to opposite shoulders. 30 seconds, we hinge forward and we come back up. Drop into it and we lift. Keep the legs and the spine straight. Keep moving, awesome. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Nice, awesome Kayleen, five. Four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set. These ones, I want you to take them very, very slow and get as deep into the stretch as you can. Last 30 seconds. Actually, take your arms down by your sides. This time, we're going to hinge with the arms back. Let's do it. So imagine you've got like a nice cape behind you. Keep your spine straight and your cape flying back behind you. Good. Already half done. Get low. 
Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Release the hands down to the ground. Rock side to side. And roll up slowly to, of course, give yourself a round. <laughs> that was our 15 minutes. Steve, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Same, same general question to everybody. Um, How did you feel? Did you like it? Good, the bad, the ugly, anything? I thought, relatively speaking, it wasn't as intense as the arms. Um, and you might want to like, when you're doing sides, like do both sides together. I mean, like one side, do, do both sets for that one side and then switch to the other side so that it has less, less rest. Okay, good point, good point. Uh, Bonnie? Let's see. Great point. <laughs> Bonnie said, I like, I like this selected area to work to fatigue. Yes, I was more fatigued in the arm, uh, with the arm workout. So she agrees with George. Kayleen? Um, I thought the same thing, although the legs were still super, super hard. So it wasn't that that was easy. It's just that the arms were harder. But I liked Kayleen, it. Did you think, what about your heart rate? Was it higher or the same or less than your arms? Um, just off the top of your head. I think maybe my arms were just higher at the end of it, just because we were doing all of the, the fast path. stuff. Um, but my heart rate was still definitely up during the legs too. Got it. Jeff? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what I was supposed to be getting out of this. I've got some specific goals and I texted you that that's around muscle mass and mobility. Um, so, you know, I've kind of put my faith into your guys' hands to try and achieve those goals and I'm not there yet. So I like that you're rethinking about how to do this. It's really tough because everyone has different goals of what they're trying to get out of this at home workout, right? Um, and different set of equipment at home and what they can use. So you're in a really tough position. So maybe just state clearly what you guys are trying to accomplish so that we can either be on board and involved that day or that set of days or not. You know, cause if it's just like muscle toning, that's not for me. And I get that there's maybe different ways that you can work out to the same workout, but it seems like, you know, they're tailored, they would be tailored workouts. For that, I, I agree with George, it, the lower body was a lot less uh, intense, except for, you know, maybe one or two of the exercises. Uh, I really like that you're rethinking and shaking stuff up. And yeah, I mean, it does make sense. Like there's a difference between exercising with katsu versus katsu exercise. So I think it's, it's how you guys figure out for different goals, what the exercise regime should be, and then communicate that over. Okay. You know, all of us, I think are happy to go with what you guys are thinking, but we're not the ones to be able to design it. So Jeff, you make a really good point, and that's exactly why we're looking at doing some of this is eventually in building out a more comprehensive library of different workouts, you know, figuring out which ones to tailor to specific things just because people all want different things. So yeah, that speaks to the, the bigger vision. <laughs> Diane, what did you think? I thought it was... I thought it was a little harder than the same exercises we did before on the legs. And, I, and it also raised my heart rate higher. So whatever you're doing, I think it's in the right direction. I, I, I want my heart rate up. And we were able to get our heart rates up without doing a lot of aerobics. OK. Quinton? Um, yeah, I definitely agree with what like everyone's been saying about how the um, arms have definitely been harder, but I also think that the legs were also really hard. Um, and I thought the legs actually got my heart rate up more than the arms, but like my arms just like, I don't know, died more, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Uh, Adrian, you have any? 
for me, I think both of them, they were, um, you know, intense and less intense. Probably lately I worked more on the cuts to uh, my arms and that's the reason I felt a little bit more pressure on the, um, uh, on the legs. But I agree with the goal because I'm 61, for example, I'm looking to keep my muscle, you know, my strength and my toning. So that's for me the objective. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I can build a little bit mass, that's fine. But that's for me my long-term objective. So you know, as long as I can achieve that, that that will be fun. But I like this session. Okay. Uh, it was very well. Okay. So very Laura, what, one thing I Jeff brings up. Yeah. Let's just um, concretely and clearly state what that day's goals are, and um, and then that way they can compare what we stated the goals were to what they actually felt. Sorry, my, uh, my audio uh, cut out, Steve, what did you say? I, I, Jeff brings up a good point that let's state in the very beginning, the goal of this workout is A, and therefore they'll be able to judge if we did, if those exercises did achieve A. During I that think point. we can do better too. I think we can also potentially, for me, um, think about the week in advance. And then on Monday, if we want to put up what it's going to be for the week, yeah. um, that way you know whether you want to log in or not. Yeah. So we okay. can start doing that. That just means I'll have to think longer term, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. This is greatly appreciated, and we'll, uh, we'll continue to mix it up a bit. All thank right. you, Steve. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Great Thank you. Bye. Thank you.